Hey, what's up guys? Nick here from Tech2020 and today let's talk about a revolutionary self-healing type of polymer. Let's get started. So if the goals of researchers at the University of Illinois come to any sort of fruition, you can say goodbye to your super glowing past. Professor Chang and his colleagues have managed to chemically modify the molecular structure of a common plastic and tweak it so that it can heal cracks and rejoin after being split apart into two. The tweak is based on polyurea, a type of material used in spandex and pipelines. Let's take a look. We make this material into this dog bone shape, transparent and non-tacky gel, so we can see that like this is uh, very stretchy. And now we are going to use the knife to cut the material in the middle. So now the material are cut into two pieces. So now I'm going to bring the two pieces back together and uh, touch it for one minute. And then I'm gonna put this material in the 37 degrees C incubator and let it heal for about one day. So this is the uh, piece of material we cut uh, yesterday and healed for 24 hours. So we can see the cut in the middle and now if we stretch it, we can see that the material won't broke in the middle, so which means it's very well healed. Surprisingly, no catalysts are required. If you give it a day and press the two bits together, the polymer will self-heal to its original shape. We can, however, accelerate this process by heating it up to 37 degrees Celsius, conveniently close to the temperature of our bodies, perhaps signaling commercial applications for humans. Pretty awesome. So the way to actually make this polymer is by elongating the molecular bonds within the polymer itself. This gives it greater elasticity and chance to recombine once torn apart. Most surprising of all, however, was repolymerization or self-healing actually enhanced the strength of the polymer once put back together, almost like how our scar tissue is much tougher than normal skin. Now get this, the process for making the polymer is actually quite simple. It's all based on commercially available ingredients that are regarded as safe. All you need to do, mix up the polymer, let it sit, cure it in a mold, and you're good to go. The good news, well, with the relative safety and ease of production, it's not going to be long till we see this in commercial applications, so sit tight. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.